finger that comes off of this peak of this mountain and uh this, this finger really sets up well for good deer movement because they use it as a travel corridor in between food sources and and water and, and bedding so should be a good morning um hoping we both are able to see some some good action tim is set up on the north end of the property um, and he's setting up just off of that peak where uh, the deer tend to funnel down into those draws and right where they split off it gets pretty flat and it's pretty wide open so he's set up in the middle there somewhere um, and he'll have a really good vantage point to see both uh, both ends um, and then for my setup as we come down that finger I'm on the south end um, much lower elevation and where i'm set up i'll catch the deer that go around him as well as the deer that come down and around that draw um, so they'll come through and that draw and either keep heading down or they'll cut over toward through the property um, either way i'll have a good shot down into that ravine uh, it's really wide open um, probably two three hundred yards
ever since we got up in the tree, we could hear deer all around us. It's loud. There's no wind, and it is really cold this morning. So they've been on their feet. About 25 degrees this morning compared to we were in the 50s yesterday. So definitely, definitely a good cold front to get in here for opener. Early we saw a doe with a buck kind of on her tail, kind of cruising this line, coming off of this finger that comes off of this mountaintop. But I couldn't, it was still a little too dark to really get a good look at his frame. And, and they were just moving, they didn't stop at all. And then just at about daylight, we saw an, a decent sized buck small rack big body come off that same finger and he fed down and he came down almost right in front of us well, we filmed him for a few minutes um, he walked within bow range um, checked the scrape and kept going on and then not long after that we had a buck come from the bottom up from the draw and start working his way up to this scrape and uh, we'll get a true measurement but I think about 80 80 yards we got him a nice buck not a giant but excited to see see this guy he, uh, we shot him and he ran down Just up on the other hillside, maybe 10, 15 yards, you know, we saw him fall and heard him kind of crash back down towards that little funnel there. So, can't see him, but it's a good sign. We're going to give it a little bit yet and see, uh, see if we can't get a doe as well, but good start to opening day baby we got Tim he's hunting the north side of the mountain that same finger that's coming off of the peak uh, but he's overlooking a really nice pinch point and then a flat area just off of the bedding area so hoping he can get it done Stay tuned. Tracking this deer and two doe and a buck come running right at me. I couldn't get the camera ready. I might have got it on the GoPro. And they literally ran right <laughs> at me. And they ran across this ravine and I just heard a gunshot.
Oh geez. Hey. You, you shot a buck? Huh? You shot a buck? Yeah. Let's go, boy. Let's go. Oh. He wasn't a giant or anything. He was a six point. But I was like, I was filming him forever. And I was like, this is, I got all the film. Like, I got that because I get pretty excited. I'm like, well, I'm excited about him. I don't know what I need, but. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Did you see him go down? So, I, I hit him pretty good. He was like spraying blood. And he went like 80 yards going down the hill. I was just wagging like crazy. He just kept wagging and wagging. And he was slowing down and I just kind of lost sight of him. But he was like running down towards your vehicle. So, okay. dude, I mean, I saw blood. So, I don't oh. know why he didn't drop right there though. Nice. So, I'm uh, I'm standing 20 yards from my buck right now. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Let's go. turn back, so I want to check out where the blood choke is. But my phone's gonna die. So. All right. Well, let's meet back at the jeep. Okay. And then we'll make right. we'll make a game plan. Sounds good. Oh right. yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. See it. Yeah, baby! opening day of rifle here in Maryland and Tim and I got back here in some mountain country and 
got her done one toad down yeah. for the count we got another one to we go a, get yet we got a meat buck up there so yeah jerry got me on his lease today and it's a fun morning hunt we got done yeah, it's just a blessing to get out here on opening day and you know make some traditions and hang out good friends and you know good fellowship and this is just what we love to do man is you know chase these whitetails um you know had good success in the archery season and you know now in the in the gun season so happy to be out here catch this cold front on a beautiful morning a lot of activity a lot of chasing a lot of buck activity today especially so hoping the best of luck to the rest of the team and um, bring you some footage after that thanks this morning we got both of them out great morning first day of rifle season i mean they're on their feet and uh it was just a great trip it's a good time thanks for coming along hey thanks for inviting me out and we said earlier you know opening days something that's been in my family for a long time and tim is still kind of new to it but yeah it's building and uh it's just great to be out here with good people and good friends and making memories this one will definitely stick with me for a long time. So thankful for Tim coming out and definitely makes dragging both of these out a lot yeah, easier. Yeah. So opening day, rifle, Maryland, two bucks, two guys, got it done. Yeah. Yes, yeah, son. <laughs>